should default passwords be banned in computer manufacturing? Uh, and that's what we're talking about on today's Tread Talk. And I guess this spans across just computer manufacturing, but also like likely some SaaS. Correct me if I'm wrong to the people who know more than me, because we're just we're learning. But likely some SaaS. It's definitely lots of hardware solutions. Um, and when I say hardware solutions, I mean things like computers, you know, things like routers. Um, so there's like a varying level of impact that needs addressed uh, beyond the level of, that needs addressed. And the reason that it should be addressed is because when a piece of hardware or a piece of software comes with a default password, if it's always the same default password, then anybody who knows the default password can basically just like check if all the doors are unlocked, you know, and just, you're just, you know exactly what to do over and over again and you know where it's likely to be so it's an easy thing to attack. So obviously something that could stand to be addressed and would be valuable to be addressed. The issue is, is downtime for manufacturers and making these changes and just like in general the regulatory costs in dealing with this type of thing. So uh, tell me what you think. Is this something that should be handled at the manufacturer level or do businesses need better education on how to do it?